Hey, what's going on guys? Will here, Flawless Crested Geckos, coming to you guys with another video. This is gonna be for the Diamond Series, but we're gonna do it a little different this week. Um, we've been following and going through some of the messages on the previous videos, trying to catch up, make sure everybody is answered. We don't wanna leave any comment or question unanswered. So a while back um, <clears throat> in this series, we posted uh, or showed off one of our, I believe it was a female, um, that's part of a project we wanna, you know, continue to work, which we will, we are continuing to work. This is actually, I wanna say year three, three or year four, the beginning of year four, this year's productions will be year four of uh, this specific project. Um, and it keeps, you know, make us kinda go, hmm. Um, it's very consistent. Um, this project off of Yoshi and Casting Clouds. Um, we don't believe that it's coming from Yoshi because it has yet to replicate itself in other breedings. He's amazing. Yoshi is this intense, crazy, high white, white spot male. Um, absolutely beautiful. He's going to stay here forever. But we paired him to Casting Clouds, who is truly unbelievable but the offspring um, kind of speaks for itself so we had started off showing off some of it um, we have quite a bit that we held back from them um, this is one of those things when you guys produce something that you think um, you know maybe have something a little a tad different hold on to it for a little bit you know experiment see what you know is going on with your, your crested geckos uh, especially with the way some of these develop a lot of our high white um, lines they develop very very late um, fresh out of the egg they look eh, blah you know meh but um, you give it a few sheds a little bit of size you know 10 15 grams and it will look like a completely different gecko um, which is what's going on with these guys um, we've produced a lot of phantoms um, from that pairing but the base tone is way way off compared to both parents um white spot is all over everything that we're producing from them which i mean it's a given coming off of being a yoshi offspring so we may try something different or we will be trying something different with the offspring since we have so many i want to say we probably in that program now including fresh babies from this year we probably have close to 20 um in the earliest stages of this project, um, we probably let go maybe four or five um, until before we caught on to what was actually going on with it. So we're not claiming it to be a new gene, um, but we're not selling any of it at this moment uh, either. We're just experimenting, testing things out, want to see how everything is working with it. Um, a lot of tiger pattern and everything coming with it as well. Uh, if you guys are liking these videos, go ahead, um, hit the thumbs up button. It definitely helps with the algorithm. As you guys can see, we are growing at an alarming rate and thanks to you guys. We appreciate you, uh, the dedication you're showing to just watching the content that we continue to put out and we will not stop. So that being said, uh, let's get ready to show some off. Hey guys, Flawless Crested Geckos here, Will, Audra, and we're here to tell you about our Patreon. Yes, going through tough times, you gotta know that Flawless is always gonna have your back. If you go over to patreon.com slash Flawless Crested Geckos, you'll see all the perks and benefits it is there for you to come and support us on our Patreon. $50 a month turns around and goes right back into your Flawless Crested Gecko savings account for you to use towards your next purchase. Any purchase. We also give awesome benefits such as 5% off off the top of the, the price of the gecko. We get free merchandise, t-shirts, we have stainless steel tables, tools, yes. <laughs> all kinds of goodies. We also give free shipping to our members all year round, no blackout dates. And, you know, we give awesome tips, or we think we do anyway. <laughs> That's right. So go over to patreon.com slash Flawless Crested Gecko. And Thank join you. our family. So to jump things out the gate, we're going to start with this little male. He's quite the looker. Check him out. So it's different than the one we showed off before. I think we're going to show off about, I guess, three in this showing. Check him out. <laughs> Little bugger likes looking at himself, huh? 
So as you can see on the sidewall, he does have the white spot, white port hole in. Let's see if he'll cooperate with me. Check out the belly pattern. Really, really cool gecko. The tiger base. Check that out. So far, everything that has come from them has had really, really good structure, thankfully. So it allows us to do more things down the road without necessarily worrying too much about structure, 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 if it's already present. That's the other side. Very funky pattern very funky color this is fired up fired down is like a completely ghosted out gray try to get you guys a really good close-up of him <laughs> he wanted to get real close So that's just a young male we have growing up in that program. Let me show you something else. So here we have, it's like a two and a half year old female. Hasn't been paired, hasn't been bred. We're still lining up the breedings for them. Not in a huge rush, but look at that same tone, that same color. Same color, beautiful female, white spotting, tiger, phantom, same resemblance of the previous male. You look at the base of the tail, the dashing on the pinning, pretty, pretty consistent. Tiger stripes, faint. Faint tiger striping. The top view. Without the phantom. So this is the first time we're showing this boy off. He is ready to breed, but we have not paired him yet. So check that out. This is without Phantom, still has the white spot gene, blatantly present, still has that off base color like the Phantom, but it's a different tone because Phantom definitely affects color, but this is the same same base tone, this is fired up. You can actually see a misfire. Let's see if I can show it off. In between his rear, if you'll allow me. <laughs> in between his rear leg, that's a misfire down in there. But he's fired up otherwise. Absolutely amazing. Very curious, obviously. But check that out. Definitely see tiger pattern underneath the pattern. Big time, it's still present. This one seems to get more and more white spread every shed. Again, we just think that's the line of Yoshi with that white spot um, trait. He has some furring going on down here in the dorsal where he has raised scales periodically through the dorsal pattern. It's very intriguing to see where this is gonna go. And again, we're gonna figure this out. What a specimen, love it, love it, love it. We haven't named him yet. We just pretty much holding on to the entire pat, uh, project. Trying to see. Don't 
you guys get a close up of that dorsal. See you later, guys. So, as you can see, it's definitely something going on there. Again, we're not claiming to have a new gene at all. We're just paying attention to what we're producing um, and kind of owning in on it and trying to set projects aside like that where we can kind of focus to a T and maybe kind of prove some things out down the road. We're taking a long road to it. Um, this is the fourth year, I believe, producing offspring from that and now we have a bunch of the first initial offspring producing um, from different, you know, lineage as far as different parenting and still looking to see if that trait will pass on, you know, maybe incomplete dominant, you know, uh, pass on that way or see what else is going on there. Um, but we like what we're seeing so far with it. Definitely want you guys to pay attention to the smallest things, the smallest kind of little uh <clears throat> displays of pattern color whatever it may be in your geckos as you can see there's a lot of people that discover things within their own collection um but you have to pay attention you can't just think that you know everything that is right now there will be no more um as we continue to see every single year there's new genes being discovered um new genes you know being produced because something was recessive or whatever it may be. And the way we feel about it, Audra and I, is everything's, you know, positive in the right direction. You know, long as you can put the science behind it or the proof behind it, that's what, like we said, we're gonna work it. Um, and can show how things are being produced and spread the information, knowledge is king, and maybe get more people excited about the hobby get more people educated and more people interested in, in getting into crested geckos um, that's what we want to kind of create with this series with the diamond series we want to create excitement um, especially with stuff that we're working with or stuff that we're holding back or stuff that um, we're excited about we want to put out there maybe someone else will be excited about the same thing you never know um, a lot of people share common interests anyway it's Will, Flawless Crested Geckos. Hopefully you really enjoyed this video um, and you'll see plenty of that uh, gene or uh, trait to come. Have a good one.